Hey, can you still go to the Airy Crown Theater and see that Sex Ed show? What? I thought that was at Northwestern. You took that. Uh, it was always like a field trip in junior high or grade school. That's that's what they call that. I think yeah, you, isn't that what that, that where that was the Airy Crown Theater? I think maybe you should have called DCFS back in, back in the early eighties, man. Like sex education, you know, reproduction. Mm, no making babies. They didn't do that for us. Bumping and grinding. That's what we were doing it wrong for so many years. I can't remember. No, we didn't have a field trip. You didn't for that. do that. I'm sure they did that, they did that in did school. That. Our field trips when we were in grammar school were we would go to the Museum of Science and Industry. It's bad. Um, we would go to Rainbow Beach. That's dumb. Rainbow Cone. No, we would not. Even though we were really a lot closer to Rainbow <laughs> Cone because we were the school was on 95th Street. But we go to Rainbow Beach. We go to to the Museum of Science and Industry because that was always easy, and it was great because then you knew you were going to get McDonald's for lunch. Like you could pack a lunch, but like they had the McDonald's there, and you're like, man, I got this peanut butter and jelly sandwich, you know and what? I really we, want a cheeseburger. We had that issue today because my son's camp is on a field trip. They went to a water park, and it said you have a choice. You can make your kid lunch, or you can give him money and put it in the, in the zipper pocket of his little backpack bag thingy. So, And I said, I said we should probably just make him a lunch, right? So give him 10 She goes, no, don't, don't make him be that kid. Yeah, you don't want to be that kid. Let him Give him $10. Let him have a couple slices of pizza or something and a Slurpee. No. My parents used to let me show out on field trips. You pull out a 20 on oh, them, yeah. Jay? Really? Pull your first little honey that you had. I'll never forget. <laughs> Tanisha. Pull Tanisha. To the side Tanisha. Bang, Screw this lunch food. And then she didn't talk to me the next day. Oh, see, well, you wait. learned a very valuable lesson, didn't you, Jay? By the way, Robert Crown Center. Yeah, that's what it was, Robert Crown. Crown. A bunch of people have called to correct me, so I appreciate it. The that. Robert Crown Center. No, so what? you never went there? What the hell was no, going on Evanston. at the Robert Crown Center? Yeah, seriously, that was some place. There's skating, there. and there's basketball with a really bad court in, in Robert Crown. Like, people would go there to learn about learn how, how to have sex. Field trips. There'd be a bunch of other schools would always go. You know, it just shows you when you when you start talking about the White Sox and, and we get all this anger and unhappiness and it just makes you want to talk about other things. It's just a natural sort of self preservation response. It makes you want to talk about old sex education, creepy sex ed center with a Robert went. Crown. Yeah, ever, I've never heard. Apparently, of this. it's not the same Robert Crown as the, that's in Evanston with the bad basketball gym. And yeah, I think it was like Oak Brook or Hinsdale. They're or saying you must have had some really bad experience out there, Jay. P- hooping, Jim. The, the the floor is like cement. It's like rubber cement. And I used to go there and hurt my knees every time as a kid. Better just playing on, on this the concrete. Yeah, but this is a different Robert Crown. I didn't learn about sex at Robert Crown. So, Maddie, there's like a center the where there's like independent center teaching sex. What is it about Evan <laughs> teaching sex? Yeah, you'd go for, yeah, it was field trip, man. There'd be a bunch of schools would go. I bet you a lot of people in the suburbs went to this. I grew up in the suburbs. I never went to this. Nah, you grew up up north. It's a suburb? Yeah, but it's not, no, nah, it's not like a regular suburb. It's not I a regular suburb. It was ju- junior high or? Huh? Junior what? high you're talking about, right? Uh, Yeah, it was either fifth grade or, or, or junior high. I'm not sure. We did We did outdoor ed. Yeah, I'm. I'm pretty sure the Catholic <laughs> school. So you did I, indoor I, I, I like too. Yeah. <laughs> the Catholic school that I went to, I'm pretty sure that, that Sister Lucy wasn't going to allow that to happen. Yeah, so I went to you know public school out in a regular suburb, not like Bernstein. Why is it not a regular suburb? What's wrong with Deerfield? Huh? This is not regular. It's irregular. It's special. <laughs> like socks for the the three one twos. Stop talking about not talking about the White Sox. <laughs> Boy, a lot of people went to this. Yeah, Robert Crown Center in Hinsdale. See, you we did. just had health class in seventh, I believe it was seventh and eighth yeah, grade, where they that. showed you yeah. this is what you 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 know Here's your what junk your wang look looks like, like if you mess with a nasty girl. And his yeah, and his nasty pictures of like STDs and stuff. Yeah, I remember that. It was the slideshow that, that realized it scared that, everyone, and we all, and, you know, yeah, but nobody that cared. One cause... person who was that one girl who was fast would like kind of you know turtle her head into her desk. Man, you know there are a couple that uh. All I know is that sex education just made everybody want to have sex. Like all the anti-drug stuff just made hey. us all want to do drugs. It's like the CPR I, I, classes made me want to like have, have a heart attack, choke, so I could give them the, the CPR methods. Yeah, maybe choking is different because CPR. you're in a different generation. What? Because you're old. <laughs> they showed us how to do it wrong. They, they used to show you like on like like sketch drawing on like stone tablets. <laughs> Jay, I had a friend I'm two who, years older than you. Like got, stick figures who got <laughs> pregnant sex. freshman year. And I was like, that was enough for me. Wait, how old are you? I'm 42. Okay, so you're more than two years older than me, Einstein. You? How old are you? I'm less than 40. 
<laughs> oh, okay. So that's a great three movie. Years old or whatever. I'm uh, I'm 38. Less than 40. <laughs> that's four years. God, everybody went to this place, and I've Told never you. heard of it. All I know is that the, the, the all the drug stuff. They said they went there for drug teaching too. All, oh, dare oh, we yeah, had yeah, dare. All, all, all that drugs, does yeah. what make you want to do drugs. Dare all showed you that. how to roll a joint. They brought. I remember they brought like well, I'm Mr. Policeman drug guy and they here's had, all like, a plaque of right, drugs. All, here's what we've confiscated. We're like, dude, that's a three that's a chamber party. bong right there. That's that's got to cost like eighty bucks. Our guy looked like Ernie Hudson. They all do. They Every all, no. dare officer yep. looks like Ernie Hudson. And he came into the thing and he's like, "How y'all doing?" I'm like, "You ain't no cop, Ghostbusters." Because <laughs> I looked at him and I'm like, "I know all the Evanston police, and you're not one of them." <laughs> This a, drug causes <laughs> euphoria and hallucinations, and all those rock and roll stars who sing about it and glorify it, don't listen to them. Listen Meanwhile, to me. there were kids across the hall, like, doing drugs. Slanging. <laughs> yeah. Selling In drugs. In right? <laughs> Like, the western burbs and, like, south southwestern suburbs went to... Robert Crown. Robert Crown Center. This is an infected penis. Do not let this happen to you. It wasn't even a slideshow. It was just a guy. <laughs> hey, come over here. Hey, what do you think of this? Oh, I should. If I had it to do all over again, and I would have had the hairy there. lady that, that Terry saw in Mokina. <laughs> Ever seen one of these before? And this place would charge schools. So it was a racket, basically. Sure. Because you'd have schools that where the teachers were uncomfortable doing it. They didn't want to do it, so they outsourced it. The parents wouldn't do it. And the parents oh, wouldn't not. do it. So this place was like, yeah, sure. We, we show them a slideshow. One texter was like, and this is true. I remember this now. He says, the glands light up as they would lecture about them. He goes, when the memory glands lit up, all of us Catholic school kids couldn't help but laugh. <laughs> and see, that's the thing, too. See, Once then, you got then, to, to, then, to naked parts. In sex ed, yeah. the kids that didn't laugh, you know where the kids that were getting it on. But then when like, you look around, like look at the girls, like oh, that didn't amuse you any, did it? See, my problem would be I would actually think they'd light up. You know, I, I would get to the point, you know, later, like okay, when, like you got the high score on a video game. Right, like when 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 do they light up? Because like, miss, I'm sorry, is something wrong with your breasts? I, yeah, I think they're not lighting up. Am I doing, am I doing this wrong? Yeah, am I doing something wrong? I think they're supposed to light up now. Those your private areas should have more hair. It did help you out. I, I just recently reconnected with a friend of mine from Facebook. We were real close, and then she got pregnant after eighth grade, and we went to we went to rival high schools. And I saw this picture. I saw this picture of this grown man on there, and it was her son. I was like, "How old's your son?" She's like, "Well, do the math. He's twenty two, and I'm thirty six. I'm like." Wow, I forgot how young you were when you had that dude. All right, well, Texas says Robert Crown now comes out to the school, so it's just one guy named Robert Crown Hi. teaching sex to America's youth. I'm Robert. <laughs> uh, time to talk about body parts. And here's my wing. Yep, let me get into my little briefcase here. Everybody was wondering here. what Terry was doing today. <laughs> hey, buddy, <laughs> take a look at this. Ever tell you about the circus in Mokita? <laughs> Apparently, they told one listener that HIV was so small it could go through a condom. What? That's what he texted. <laughs> it's just like a bug that comes out of something. Well, first it was herpes, and that's it. Like, well, don't ever have sex because you get herpes and everything falls off. And then it's like, well, now you get this and you you die. Unless you're Magic Johnson, in which case you gain 75 pounds and you're fine. And then the teacher back then, which wasn't very politically correct, would be like, don't worry. If you're not gay, it won't happen to you. <laughs> yeah. Like, you're wrong, old lady. Yeah, I, there, I was, there was a lot of that. True. You might want to tell that to sub-Saharan Africa that it's that's, that's or, not true. Or black was, women in Chicago. Yes. I was right in the in the area where it, it, was, it turned from grid to HIV to AIDS, you know? So... What's grid? It was called gay-related infectious disease. Yeah, remember? I don't, I don't remember that. I don't remember that either because, you know, me and Bernstein are two years old. <laughs> no, I don't You're remember. really mad. You know, Maddie, when you were gone, I actually I actually refer to you and Jason as like my little brothers. Yeah, that's that's not right. Even though you're. Yeah, I'm older than you. Right. But still, you know, this says that we should have a sex ed show hosted by Doug and OB. <laughs> Damn it, Doug. Doug. We're He's talking dental them. <laughs> condoms. They've got to wear them, Doug. Doug all the OB time. do a little feminine hygiene lecture. <laughs> Well, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, buddy. Uh, you gotta, you know how it is. Damn it, Doug, it's panty liners good. are for daily use. Doug, damn it, Doug! Latex stunts. <laughs> we need more latex stunts. Oh, more yeah, more buddy, Lexus, more Rexes. Damn it, in there, you gotta lube it up a little bit. More condoms, Doug. 
What are they doing? What are they teaching these kids? Consensual always, buddy. No means no. I, I don't know if you get pregnant if you do it in there. <laughs> you know, might have a little bit of make sure, but little buddy, no Mexican food before that. But, you know. Go Doug, do you, can't, you, do. you can't take it anymore. You can't steal it. They don't, don't allow care it to happen. What they say, nobody <laughs> uses the rhythm method anymore. It worked for us and it can work now. Doug. See what the White Sox have done to us? The White Sox have this made us crazy and stupid. This is what the White Sox have done to us. I have to stop talking about the White Sox. A listener says, I would always try to cozy up with girls on the Robert Crown trip, but like a true score listener, I'd ride home next to a guy on the bus. The teacher. Sign, BMAC. You liked what you saw, huh? You liked the one, the big syphilis one? Got that one for you, too. Bring a special clown in to show you that. Hey, buddy, here's Shanker, the syphilis clown. <laughs> hey, hey, look what I got. You have Boars and Bernstein in the score.